We are 10 seconds away from the five minute mark. We'll have boats on the water. Seafair, Seattle, buckle up. Here we go. Our love affair with H1 Unlimited hydroplanes is about to reoccur. Once again, to go before the start of the 2019 Home Street Bank Cup at Seafair. Nate, you were talking about water conditions and how calm it looks, and you said it's going to last for about a lap. There's another piece to that puzzle. We've had four boats on the water all weekend. We've got seven out there right now. That makes a huge difference. You guys just take a peek at these corners. After the first corner of the first lap of this race, look at the water that's left in that corner after they get by. Then you know what. Oh, yeah. It's going to be rough lumps will be there the next time around. And we mentioned that Corey Peabody in the U-98, the Graham Trucking American Dream was the trailer boat. He needs to start five seconds behind the clock. So he needs to start five seconds behind everybody. Down to the lower corner, that's Jeff Bernard driving the Oberto Specialty Meats, the Oberto Super Salami. Following him into the lower corner is the 99.9 Carstar powered. You mean setting the course? Coming in right in front of Bernard. That's the U11 J and D presented by Reliable Diamond Tool. What a weekend thing. Okay, no one to worry behind you, no one to worry about behind you. It's in an inside lane. They're my sleeper here this weekend. I know they can run some speeds. If he can get the inside lane, they're gonna be a tough to beat from the inside. They certainly are. You see Andrew Tate now in the predominantly white boat down on the lower end of the race course, checking the watch. 235. J. Michael Kelly. Playing up there. I bet I'm on that top end, we've got boats at the bottom end. Idle and get it rolling. And where is Jimmy Shane? Because we just saw him on a monitor. Looked like he was just crawling up the backstretch end. I think he's down. I mean, he's he's barely moving up there in the north. Oh, he is end. down. There he is. Oh, what a story this would be. Now Jimmy's bringing it back up, but there's going to be his 80 mile an hour warning. He has got to be careful now. But he clearly had a problem. He is up and running now. We see the rooster tail climbing. But is he behind everybody? I think with two minutes, I think he's probably still okay. I think so, too. Uh, he could have been trying to wait. To get... Jamie Yeltsin's doing S turns there, so be careful. He's doing S turns. He just S turned right in front of Andrew. Andrew's trying to push the issue. Boy, 142 to go. And these guys are going to continue to come all the way down. I think that's going to be a lot of time to kill with a buck 35. And when I talk about guys coming down here, it's Jamie Nielsen, it's Andrew Tate, and it is Jimmy Shane. Now watch Tate. Is he going to put himself in between those two boats? Is he going to try going. and squeeze it in? He's oh, right in there. boy, that's going to get close. He's uh, trying to make a hole. And believe, oh, there he's getting wet down there. Believe me, Jimmy Shane's radio guy was telling him exactly <laughs> what was going on right yep. behind him. So Tate's going to be going 80. We probably certainly have a warning. So keep going 80. We're at a minute four. Two seconds. One mark. One minute. JMK went through the course and grabbed the inside. So it's going to be a slow start, guys. Oh, boy. I hope they can. Uh, we're monitoring the official radio to see if there are any discussions about 80 miles an hour. So top end of the race course, it is J. Michael Kelly in lane number one. I believe Nielsen in the U11 is in lane number two. Jimmy Shane should be in the three lane. With the U6, the home street, there's a warning on the 12 for going too slow. Mike's got to pick it up a little bit. Lane 4 is going to go to Andrew Tate in the U1. Lane 5 is going to go to Brian Perkins. Still 20 seconds until the start. 
So they are really going to have to slow it down. Where is Bernard? I think he's on the far outside. He may come with a ton of boat speed. Now look at the boats at the top end of the course that are really moving. They're going to bring the boat speed six seconds. And we're five, four, three, two, one. Mark and look at Perkins coming from lane number five. He is going to get down here first. The start is under review. Jimmy Shane is in lane number two. He's coming hard in second place. They hit the lower corner. Who's going to get out of there first? Is it Home Street Blue? No, it is J. Michael Kelly, but there's the Home Street. Jimmy Shane on the outside. Three boat legs on. Hey, get it floating. Get it floating. Get it floating. You got two boat legs on the ground. He had amazing, amazing speed. We have a penalty that has been issued on the 12. The Graham Trucking presents Beacon Plumbing. They have a one minute penalty. So basically, J. Michael Kelly is out of it. If anybody is going to take this thing away from Jimmy Shane, they're gonna to have to run him down on the outside. Andrew Tate's gonna take a shot at him, Nate, but boy, that's a tall order. Yes, it sure is, and, but he's pedaling that thing as fast as he possibly can. And Jimmy knows that J. Michael's out of it, but he also knows that Andrew's right there. He's still got his foot to the floor. Yeah, that's exactly right. So Shane can actually go wide and leave plenty of room in there for JMK, because if we know the penalty, Obviously, Jimmy Shane knows it, so he can drive wide to make Andrew go around a bigger course. They are up the backstretch on the second of five times around the race course. Jim Shane is just flying up the backstretch. JMK is hanging with him. 39.9, jump the gun, one minute. But the problem is he's got a one minute penalty, so Jimmy is not worried about him. The 99.9, it has been ruled. Brian Perkins has jumped the gun. The start was under review. The 99.9 has jumped the cart, jumped the start and he too will get a one minute penalty. Two in the books, Jimmy Shane ripping up the Ted Jones race course as he enters the lower corner. Got almost a full rooster tail now on J. Michael Kelly, but the important one is, Nate, he's opening up water on Andrew Tate. Yeah, and one thing about these pen these penalties, you say a one minute penalty under review, I mean, things have been reversed before, so these drivers are going, you know what, I'm gonna smash the gas and still try to do as good as I possibly can. Not only for my sponsor, but there's a better than good chance something can be reversed. That is exactly right, and we have seen it before. So JMK says, you just keep talking into my ear about that one minute penalty, because I don't think I deserve it, and it may get reversed, we will see. But right now we are being told of a one minute penalty on the boat in second place, the red one. The Graham Trucking presents Beacon Plumbing coming down to put three in the book. Jimmy Shane has looked so strong all weekend. Could he be pulling together the perfect weekend, Nate? He's three up and three down with two to go. He's looking great out there. He's rattling that thing back and forth, and he's got this floor smashed. The throttle smashed. All right, uh, second place boat. He's running third on the water. Second place is the U1 Delta Real Track. Andrew Tate. Here comes Jamie Nielsen. He's fourth on the water, but currently in third due to the one-minute penalty in the U U11 J and D's presented by Reliable Diamond Tool. Then it is Brian Perkins coming across, and he's got Jeff Bernard on the inside. But Perkins, we are being told. Two has a one minute penalty. Top end of the race course, north turn. Two rooster tail lead for Jimmy Shane. Now what happens, Nate? Does he just start listening for any gremlins in there? He's getting a white flag. He's got one more to go. Yeah, he's got the field covered right now. He's just trying to take care of his equipment, make sure he kind of keeps everybody behind him and finish this race without killing something. So here he is, down at the lower end of the race course. We will bring him around the race course. Corey Peabody yields and stays way wide, so he gives plenty of room there for Jimmy Shane in the Home Street Bank, the Miss Home Street. Powder blue and white, the U6, owned by the citizens of Madison. Around the water, bring your home. You got the uh, whole straightaway. Half the straightaway on the 12, whole straightaway on Andrew. Home Street Bank up at Seafair. What a win that would be. Jimmy's from the area here, originally from the East Coast, now lives out in Maple Valley, so he's local now, but Home Street Bank is the sponsor of the race. Could they possibly have dreamed of a win with the missed Home Street? Jimmy Shea comes off the upper corner of the rooster. <laughs> that was a statement. That was a barn burner, looked really good. I mean, they really tried hard, all these boats, to make it well. They did, and boy, JMK, got to feel bad for him. He, you know, we talked about it before. I have a saying that I like to make that sometimes you can overpay for that inside lane. I think J. Michael Kelly just did that.
I think he overpaid for it. He got up there too early. He had to back off. And in doing so, he incurred the wrath of the officials. So our second place boat should be Andrew Tate. Our third place boat should be Jamie Nielsen of the U11 presents. Real, or presented by, excuse me, Reliable Diamond Tool. Our fourth place finisher should be the 1918 with Jeff Bernard. That would be the Alberto Super Salami. One thing about that heat, Bradley, you notice that J. Michael Kelly never let off the throttle even after he found out through his radio personnel that he had a one minute penalty. And that is because he had his eyes set on the 98 of the Graham truck. And if he could get around the Graham truck, that could have possibly moved him back up in the rankings a little bit more points may not have been a first place point, but enough points to still be. One is requesting a driver's rep. The 12 because they want the driver's rep. 12 is contending that they did not drop below 80. We'll take a look at the tail pin. Copy that. So the fifth place finisher would be Corey Peabody. Sixth place would go to the U12 and J. Michael Kelly. And seventh place would go to Brian Perkins in the 99.9 Car Star Powered Miss Rock. But I'll tell you what, that powder blue boat that we're walking, watching here on the monitor. He aired it out. He drove it hard. He felt bad about what happened in the Tri-Cities. He was late to the start-finish line. He was dead on. Oh, uh, there's always a good little note that's being written down here. The uh, 12, and the Graham Trucking has asked for the driver's rep. I mean, somebody's not terribly happy with the way things went there, and the driver's rep this weekend is Greg Hopton. Wouldn't want but to be in that's okay. Right now. <laughs> um, you, know, and they, you know, these guys are just stepping off their boats, and the adrenaline runs pretty hot, and it runs pretty high. These guys are very, very good friends, but it might take them 45 minutes to an hour to remember that, but does the, does their blood's pumping pretty good right now. Well, Nate Brown, as we've now finished our final heat, you mentioned during that heat that sometimes our final results can be reversed. And we are getting word now from H1 officials that our final heat is under review. So hold everything. We don't know exactly what they are reviewing, but they are taking a look at something. So we will hold off with any official results. Well, Nate, we mentioned previously that our final heat of the Home Street Bank Cup at Seafair was under review by the H1 officials. I have just been handed their official decisions. I'm going to do my very best to explain exactly what I have on paper in front of me. We mentioned during the final heat that J. Michael Kelly, driving the U-12, the Graham Trucking presents Beacon Plumbing, they were assessed a one-minute penalty for violating the 80-mile-an-hour rule during the milling period. That penalty has been rescinded by the H-1 officials, meaning J. Michael Kelly was legal in our final heat. The second part of the calls that come down, and Nate, this is the big one, they have, in addition, assessed a one-minute penalty on the U-6, the missed home street, Jimmy Shane, for that same 80 mile an hour violation during the milling period. The penalty on J. Michael Kelly has been rescinded and there has been a penalty assessed, a one minute penalty on Jimmy Shane in the Miss Home Street. The end result of all this, Nate, the winner of our 2019 Home Street Bank Cup at Seafair is the U-12. It's J. Michael Kelly and the Graham Trucking presents Beacon Plumbing. Showed that I picked up my speed and was able to carry it all the way to the start line, so it got reversed. It'd be nice to be able to celebrate the right way, though. It's just it's unfortunate that these kind of things happen, but you know, at least everything was looked at and um, everybody did their job. And you know, proud to you know be a part of Graham Trucking, Beacon Plumbing.